G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is Queen Tested, a video series where I take the best weapons in Fallout 76 and hack away at the Scorch Beast Queen's health bar with them until it drops. Today's weapon is going to be a bloody Deathclaw Gauntlet with 40% faster swing speed and plus one strength. Really powerful weapon, obviously the swing speed is going to raise its DPS by a lot, and looking at the base damage of this, I've got 1266, which is pretty impressive. But more impressively, I'm actually pulling my punches with this, if you'll pardon the pun, because you'll notice in my mutations, I don't have anything like twisted muscles or talons to give me a further boost to my melee damage, although during the fight I did have some um, glowing meat steak boosting my damage by 10%, which was helpful, but yeah. In terms of how much damage I could possibly be doing with this, I'm way off what I could be, and as I found out during fighting the Queen, it probably won't matter all that much. If I really wanted to do a speed kill on the Queen, I'd get all the mutations, but my strength build basically is built for uh, versatility, and I have to forsake these um, melee mutations so I can actually shoot straight with my guns when I want to switch to those. And Usually it leaves me a little bit behind in terms of melee damage, but I don't think it's going to matter all that much. We still get a fairly quick kill on the Queen, so let's take a look at my build because there's a couple of cool things in strength that'll really help us out. Barbarian is there just to give us a bit more tankiness, but the main tankiness perk is going to be Blocker, which when the Queen dabs on us, I don't think she does, but when anything punches me, 45% less damage, which is really helpful, especially since I'm only running two Endurance for th with this build. Also got Iron Fist, that'll increase my damage by 20%. No master or expert varieties of this. You get a base damage increase across the board with unarmed weapons anyway, so not having the 9 perks to spec into this leaves you space to um, spec out and other things, and also gives you um, a lot of damage with this unspec, but why would I be unspec? Anyways, Incisor is there to punch through some armor, 75% of it. Pretty damn good, especially when the Queen's got quite the tanky shell her skin's pretty thick, and martial artist is going to make a swing even faster, so when we're sitting there power attacking or regular attacking, we can recover from our strikes and just keep on hitting her a lot faster. Got radical there to boost our strength at Nerd Rage because we've got all of these radiation things giving us extra strength because, you know, derived stats and all of that, and got a little bit of rejuvenated there, just for a little bit of extra um, hit points and having a fully hydrated thing will give me more AP regen, which is good if I want to spam power attacks. Got Nerd Rage there because I'm going to be a Nerd Rage threshold. Obviously it's going to synergize super well with anything bloodied, also Adrenal Reaction as well. That's there to keep the gauntlet nice and sharp throughout the fight. Not that it really... I could probably go without that to be honest and maybe chuck some more of those points into Endurance, but... I mean, I've got the perk points to do it, but I'm too lazy. And we've got Ninja there to increase our sneak attack criticals when we get um, a strike with a melee weapon, which is going to be huge. Now, I was tossing up between this and um, Enforcer, but I went with the uh, ninja perk and just kind of waited for it to land. And when she did land, it was a pretty good thing because I was able to stack damage on pretty quickly. Sneak is there to keep us undetected. Escape Artist is there to go into caution at will, basically. Adrenaline's there to increase our damage, and that's sort of what I'll be relying on to increase my damage output since I don't have the mutations. I'll just use Adrenaline, just kill random mobs before the thing lands, and then we can actually get a decent amount of damage. Bloody mess to increase the damage, and Serendipity to avoid damage that is incoming. 45%, almost a coin flip chance. Alright, let's get started. Alrighty, so we're about 20 or so seconds from the nuke dropping, and I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I might need to come back and actually do this with buffs, but... We'll see how we do with this. When I've got damage like that, I'm thinking I might be fine, but... You know, it always helps to have an extra 25% stacked onto this, and, you know, I'm not even thinking about chems when it comes to that. So there's some crickets over there, which is kind of annoying, because I got the feeling that the Scorched Beast Queen might target them instead. So, whilst I'm messing around here, waiting for Mummy to come out, I'm straight into danger. That's not good. <laughs> Cop that ill bastard. Right, so the crickets have made themselves known, and I'm one-shotting them, which is good, but yeah. It might be a little bit difficult to stay nice and hidden throughout all of this, depending on how much the AI wants to swarm me like that. And also, I don't have Enforcer. I need the three times multipliers to shoot at the Scorch Beast, so I'll just get you up and about. There we go. So, oop. We got the blight. Well, that's annoying. Do I have a disease cure? Ah, this is what I wanted to see. 
But before I do that, I'm forgetting one very, very important thing. Yes, I need rad meds. I may have gone too far in a few places. I might just do a little bit of a right away here just to regain some of my health, but yeah, okay. So the, the behavior is not too bad at the moment. There is some things around. Just need to get her to land again. It might take a while. Might cut out until she does. So there's one of the babies down, so I'll kill that at least. So that gives you an idea of what kind of damage we're doing, which is pretty good. But the problem is that um, the queen doesn't want to come to play. I'll kill her babies, see if that annoys her enough. There she is. Now let me get... <laughs> Oh god, this is the worst fucking timing, isn't it? Yep. Not only am I in a pit of piss, there's AI around. Land. Okay, you're here. Let's get you a big old one-two punch. Now it's up to the queen to do her thing. Please land. Is she gonna land? Yes. Okay. Finally, what I've been waiting for. Power attack it is. Okay, I've got the damage. It's just whether I'm nice and hidden. So it's going to go a little bit like this, is it? Just sucker punching her in the face over and over. Now, if you're going to take off, that would be not helpful. She might start running around a bit, seeing as I've punched her a little bit. And there's an angler there. He's got a soft damage over time, so he needs to go away. And I've got adrenaline full at this point, so whatever can be in my way. So, I'm not too fussed about the damage. Obviously, the boys over at Queen Killers can do it a lot quicker, but I'm only running half of the potential buffs. Now she's going to do that. I'm thinking it might be worth it just to use Ninja Over Enforcer. Uh, she's actually hidden right now. I'm actually back in hidden, so... Nope, let's just get her attention again. What I might do is just tickle her with the shotgun so she keeps interested in what I'm doing. I think that might be my best course of action. Or rather, I could use a point in luck to grab something like a handmaid. Alright, it's punchy punchy time. Take that, and that, and that, and this, and that. Yay, stealth is working. Might die, didn't die, more bloody damage for me. Punch. Kick, punch, it's all in the mu- Oh shit, I'm out of action points. Okay, I'll just whack her like this until my AP comes back. Kick, punch, it's all in the mind. There we go. So once you got down and dirty with her- Oh shit, no, 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 stim pack please. I'm going away now, I'm keeping this flux. I'm gonna win, gonna deploy my pay to win tent. Alright, go time, you scumbags. Now you can't take away my flux that I got from this. So, there you have it. Um, a completely, well, not not completely unspecced approach, but an experimental approach that I was... Come on, controls, actually work with me here. Yeah, the, the approach here was kind of experimental. I was thinking that I'd have to actually um, start stabbing it with, I mean, get all the mutations and everything before I can do it, but obviously I can do it a lot quicker, but I'm not going to be, yeah, that was a quick kill, that was a pretty quick kill, to, you know, con uh, considering that my buffs are only this, I've got extra 10% and the mole rats gave me a bit of strength, so I guess that sort of covered the blight thing, but probably should have carried a disease cure on me, because getting the blight is kind of, um, I mean, it's kind of, what's the word? inevitable when it comes to fighting the queen because nine times out of ten I think she'll spawn as diseased. She's not a very clean girl, that's for sure. What do you think of that, Barbara? Hey, eh? She's got the shakes. She's having post-death spasms. Okay, so I'm gonna call it there. All in all, I'm actually pretty pleased with this and despite the couple of shotgun shells that I shot here and there, altogether it was a very ammo efficient approach to killing the queen. Okay, he's gonna land. Good stuff. I'm gonna punch you in the face. I killed your mummy. I'll kill you as well. That easy. Yeah, not too bad. Now I gotta deal with the insane, insane scorched posse. Yeah, okay, I got crippled there. Luckily, I didn't get crippled during the fight because having movement speed this fast is pretty bad. There you go, stop hobbling. 
So yeah, pretty good. One of the uh, better Quinn kills. All right, I'm gonna stop the video now, otherwise people won't think it's as good.